actually here to tell you to stop networking and start net worthing. You see, how many of you have been victims of what I call network drive-bys? How to create their own networks. Somebody drives by, fires out the request. It's, we collaborate. Sucks the life out of you. And you never hear from them again until they need something? Anybody been there? Yeah. That's called network using. That's transactional networking, and that's not what we're talking about today. What I'm talking to you about today is really net worthing, which in today's business climate is what you need to be doing to be communicating your value add, how you can be of resource to others. And let me tell you something, there has never been a better time than right now to be building your net worth, your social capital with your network. Sarah is an expert on the art of connecting and the author of Perfecting Connecting, a guide to mastering networking in the workplace and the national audio program, Learning to Speak the Language of Others. Her articles and inspirational stories have appeared in numerous books, newspapers, and journals. It's that kind of information and knowledge that seems to only be shared through networks. We don't, it's kind of a knowledge that doesn't usually get passed in writing. So you don't go to a database to find out how you influence Joe. You don't, you don't go, uh, you don't, you don't find it on a social network. People don't write this stuff down. It's the go-to know-how knowledge, tacit knowledge, that seems to be phenomenally, it's a phenomenon, but it only seems to be shared face-to-face, person-to-person. This is why I know face-to-face -face meetings will never die. You may get your education online. You may be doing webinars, things like that. But you can never replace what happens today at this conference because of the tacit knowledge that's going to be shared. Because you're going to meet somebody who's going to give you some information today. It could be in the hallway, going to the breakout session, some tidbit of information that's literally going to help you close a deal, get a job interview. You're, it's that tacit knowledge that's going to happen, and it happens face to face. Like so if you're looking for a speaker who will focus on the real reason people come to meetings and conferences, to expand their network and make new connections, then you want Sarah Michelle. And I stepped out and called another spoke on my wheel, room moms. Anybody here been a room mom? Grandma? Putting on parties for ungrateful children? Yes? <laughs> we had bonded from this experience, and I knew her husband was a surgeon. I honestly wasn't even sure what kind of surgeon, but I knew he was a surgeon. And I called her from my oncologist's office. Turned out he was, he was a general surgeon, and she worked in his office. She knew he took my insurance. She connected me immediately to him, and I actually got on his schedule for the next day. I walked back into my oncologist. I said, actually, it's going to be tomorrow. So um, we can start chemo on Friday. That's not possible. We have this very sophisticated network system. He wasn't available. I said, you know what? Next time, have your people call my people. <laughs> and we laughed about that. And it was that moment, I'm telling you, that I knew I was going to be OK, that I knew my network had my back. And, that all I, and I had all the power I needed by just reaching out and realizing this was around me. When I say go, you are going to stand up. You are going to start to walk around and feel free to stand on the chairs and go, I have a three who's got a three, OK? That's allowed. When you connect. So right now, we're doing the uh, network intention, connecting the dots exercise. So people have discovered or figured out what their intention is what they want to have happen at this conference, and also how they could be a resource to somebody here at this conference. And they have a domino, and they're out there connecting the dots, and they're making connections happen, and this is the kickoff of a three-day conference, and they're going to wear in their badge holders for the rest of the conference. What's going to be sticking out behind their badge holder is how they could be a resource to you, which facilitates connections, and that's why people come to conferences, that's why they come to conventions, is for the networking, for the connections, and we're facilitating it putting it on steroids, and connections are going to happen throughout the next three days that are going to be amazing. Sarah Michelle is a certified speaking professional, awarded by the National Speakers Association for her ability to consistently deliver her message with high energy, humor, and inspiration. I love it. You guys, like, stood up. You know, there was, like, a whole power thing going on over here. Which motivates audiences to take action. I'd like you to be thinking about how you're going to keep those connections going that you've just made and you just started. So if you want, jot a note down on that action card. If you have any room left on your action card, jot down an action you're going to take. And the next 
week. It could be one thing. Maybe you're just going to follow up. You're going to send an email to somebody you just talked to who's looking for a resource. Maybe you're going to make a point at the break to go take this person at your table over to meet somebody in across the room that you know would be a great resource for them. Maybe you're going to just intentionally sit next to somebody today at lunch that you just met or you would like to get to know better. What action that you're going to take? If you're looking for a keynote speaker who can kick your conference off on the right note, you want Sarah Michelle. Within five minutes, my cell phone rang. It was he introduced himself as Harvey. Said, "I understand we got a little situation going on. What can I do?" And I said, "I need to get to the on-call radiologist." He said, uh, "Uh huh. I know that guy well. He owes me." Uh, that's really what he said. He said, "How quick can you get back to the? Uh, how quick can you get to the hospital?" Actually. And I, 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 I'm in my car, I, I called my husband, who by the way was following me in his car, and he's seen me on the phone, and then he sees me do like this U-turn. <laughs> and I'm just like, come on, you know. So we go down there, we meet with the radiologist, he answers the two questions that I had, the 122 questions my husband had. Did I mention my husband's a shrink? <laughs> that radiologist is still in therapy, but. <laughs> Anyways, the radiologist said, you're going to have to find a vascular surgeon who's going to have to biopsy this. We don't know for sure what it is. So I get on this vascular surgeon's schedule for Wednesday to have this biopsy. Tuesday night, 4.30, the phone rings, and it's the receptionist. I'm so sorry to call and tell you this, but um, you just been bumped off the surgery schedule. Um, um, due to an open heart case, they took precedent over your um, tumor. So, um, hey, relax. Don't worry about it. Um, you know, we don't do these surgeries only like once a week, so it'll be another week before we can get you in. Um, but we'll talk to you, we'll talk to you next week. That didn't work for me. <laughs> once again. At, I, right, at the kitchen table, I looked at Fred and I thought, okay, who do we know? Who do we know? Who do we know? Connect the dots. And I'm thinking, vascular surgeons. Now, I don't know about you, but you know, I don't play bridge with those people. I mean, I don't know one. I've never met one. I don't even know what they look like. I mean, I didn't know anybody like that. For more information, contact the person who shared this DVD with you.